In his uh, concert hall series tonight, Meredith Wilson is proud to present the world premiere of an American song without words, subtitled by the composer Arabesque. Written especially for this series by the well-loved writer Vernon Duke. All right, Meredith, Vernon Duke's American Song Without Words. That was beautiful, Meredith. Our compliments to Vernon Duke. Next week, Meredith will introduce the seventh of our new American compositions, A Caprice by Morton Gould. And now Meredith commissions a composer to write an American concert march. Whom have you chosen to write it, Meredith? One of our truly great writers, Ferdy Grofay, famous for his Grand Canyon Suite and many other fine American compositions. I hereby commission you, Ferdy Grofay, to write an American concert march to be introduced on our good news soon. Good luck, Ferdy. We'll all be looking forward to it. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, we have what we hope will be a grand show for you. Our guests, another appearance of that swell fellow and wonderful actor, Walter Houston, and the second appearance of Lou Holtz. Also, you'll hear Fanny Bryce as Baby Snooks with Hanley Stafford as Daddy, Connie Boswell, Meredith Wilson, and, of course, yours truly. So until next Thursday, this is Edward Arnold saying good night with the hope that your Thanksgiving week has been a happy one.
Van Hull reminding you that Maxwell House comes in both one and two pound cans, and that if you use lots of coffee, you'll find extra economy and convenience in the two pound size. And now, good night and good luck from the makers of Maxwell House, the coffee that's now, more than ever, good to the last drop. This is the National Broadcasting Company.